It's Mary on the run. It's Mary. Kelly, welcome to uh, Mary on the Run. I am so glad that you're uh, joining me today, and it is so good to see you. Tell me about that wall on the back of you. That, that <laughs> this is that's um, actually we made this uh, for my birthday. It says Callie Ann, and um, it was my sweet sixteen, and a bunch of uh, Trinity girls and I. We made this. Oh wow! I love yeah. it. I love it. It's all, they all signed their name on the back too. That is great. So, so behind you, you have a backdrop that's reminiscent and, and brings back memories of all your classmates. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's wonderful, awesome. Callie. So, so Callie, um, introduce yourself um, okay. and tell us a little bit about your class. You graduated from the class and then where you are. Okay. Um, so I'm Callie Magnuson. Mm -hmm. I am a part of the class of 2017 and I go to Providence College in Rhode Island. Okay. I was so much looking forward to going to Providence College and seeing you and then getting to see other girls that are there now from Trinity Hall. Yeah, um, right. You have company, right? Yeah. So yeah, tell me a little bit good. about how that works. Um, it's just very sporadic and random. Um, you're walking down, going to your next class and I'm like, hey, Diana, hey, Susie, <laughs> hey, Gretchen, you know. Um, Gretchen is actually on uh, the scuba dive club with me. Oh, um, I have been the president for the past two years and a coordinator uh, sophomore year. And so this year, I think Gretchen moved up to secretary. Wow. So we uh, organize all our events and our dives. So where do you scuba dive? Um, normally like locally in uh, Jamestown or there's this like lake in Connecticut that we drive down to. It's like a, an hour and a half away. That's um, that's wonderful. Yeah. So I'm not a scuba diver, but um, all three of my children are and my husband and they actually um, had lessons in the backyard pool in, oh, in yeah. Thomas Beach. They did damage the pool, uh, <laughs> the liner, uh, but they've all been scuba, scuba diving. And so that's that's really a, you need a lot of strength, a lot of lung capacity. Yes, a lot of peace of mind when you're yes. under there. Yeah, that's, um, that's great. It's really, it's really fun. It's really fun just to um, explore underwater. That's great. So you always were one to seize opportunities. <laughs> so I'm not surprised that that you've um, you know taken the leadership in this scuba uh, club, and I'm not surprised that you're a leader in the club. Tell me what are some other things that you other opportunities at Providence that you've been able to take advantage um, of? So sophomore and junior year, I was a part of um, a leadership fellows program, and that met I think every month for dinner, and we just discussed like more effective ways to be better leaders. Mm -hmm. And what I really took from that was. Um, a leader is not always like the one talking the most in the room, but they're the ones like evaluating the situation, making sure everybody's voice is like being heard. And they're more of like a listener than like a talker in a way. That's great. So what are you studying at Providence? Um, so I went in at first as engineering. Okay. And then um, I quickly realized I just like the design aspects of building. So I wanted to switch and... Um, move into like a career in architecture but mm -hmm. they don't have a architecture um, major at providence so i kind of just came up with what i thought was best suited for me to go into that direction so mm -hmm. i'm majoring in studio art with a concentration in drawing and then i'm minoring in art history and in math okay now see i i know of your connections with art and that's something that you have always um you know, had an affinity for the arts, which is why I initially asked you about that sign behind you, that mm -hmm. that big drawing, because I, I would not have been surprised to know that you had drawn it. So the fact that you're in studio art and using that as a way to get to your end goal is great. So what are you going to do next after Providence? Um, I'll probably go to grad school to get a master's in architecture. Okay, great. Okay. So we never give up, right? No. <laughs> and we keep going. pursuing it. So I love that you found a way you know, a, a, around that. I'm so proud of you. So what are some things that you took away from Trinity Hall that enabled you to be as successful as you have been at Providence? Um, 
I think the biggest thing was probably seeking like opportunities in any way. I remember going into college, didn't really know anyone. So I just was like, let me give a shot at all of these different clubs. Let me just see. So I was on the swim club, which led me to the scuba diving uh, club. I was on um, the eco PC club. And wow. that was just um, like about helping the environment and how we can be more um, resourceful in mm -hmm. our on our campus. I was just trying everything. Um, but yeah, I think That's Trinity really taught me um, just dip your toes in everything and see what I you like, like that. Just dip your toes in everything. And remember, as the class of 2017, we needed you to dip your toes in everything, right? <laughs> yeah. We really needed yeah. you to uh, to to reach out and to uh, try new new things so that we could exactly. have we could have a program. <laughs> exactly. I definitely like to keep myself busy. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about so what kinds of um, products are you producing in studio arts? Is there any any type of platform that you're working on? Um, so I'm mostly um, working on um, house renderings and um, ceramic sculptures of houses. So okay. right now for my final thesis, I'm gonna um, create four houses, uh, original designs based on the four seasons. So one for the summer, one for the fall, one for the winter and one for the spring. And I'm kind of thinking about how these houses can respond to their environment. Oh, wow. And how it can be like, um, kind of attractive to look at in its natural landscape, if that makes sense. It not only makes sense, I find it intriguing. You know, um, <laughs> if I had been, grew up in your age, you know, your time period, um, architect would have been something that I was really attracted to. I, I love design. So everything you're saying makes sense. And, and that's so interesting. Four different houses, four different seasons and responding to the environment. That's really cool, Callie. <laughs> Thank you. That really it took is. me a while to, to come up with the idea, but um, yeah, I think I'm excited to get going next semester on it. Do you think uh, we you could share them with me at some point? Because I, oh, really yes, I would absolutely. love to see them. Um, when they're all photographed and they're put in the gallery, there's usually a, a showing where um, in an opening where your family comes. I don't think that ha that'll happen this year. But maybe um, on Zoom. Yes, yeah, um, but they'll definitely be photographed, so I'll send them over. What you're yeah. talking about, you know that this connects to our engineering program. Yes. What you're doing. It connects to that year-end project. Yes. I'm going to call you back, and I'm going to ask you to, to be a women in engineering speaker to our girls. Okay. Because, Callie, that would, that. Be pretty, that would be pretty special. I would love that. Yeah, because that, that's, that's really important. So, okay, so now we've got a group of 308 students at Trinity Hall now. Wow. Yep, a little bit different than the 30 yes. that we started with, right? A little bit different than 32 girls running yes, out of when you graduated, yeah. And so we've, we've grown. We've absolutely yeah. grown. Um, so you have a lot of girls that are following your footsteps. Tell me what's a message that you would like to share with that population? I would say definitely don't doubt yourself if you just keep pushing keep working. If you're passionate about something, you'll get there and you'll, you'll get to your goals. You just got to work hard. I would say be involved in as much as you can kind of limit how many times you say no, you know, say yes more uh -huh. and see where it gets you. I just, love that advice. Say yes more, get involved. That's good. And, and don't give up. So those yeah. are definitely messages that, that connect for all of us. Something yes. that I haven't asked you that you want to tell me about. So maybe a um, story or something else you wanted to talk about. I um, studied abroad my junior year. I okay. went to Florence, Italy, and that was just a dream. Miss Scarillo, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. It was like art heaven. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that's 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 the uh, the center of the world for art, right, in Florence? Yes, it was just so amazing. My classes, oh, my gosh. I like one of my art classes, she would just um, text in a face group chat beforehand, meet at the column mm -hmm. before class. So we'd meet at the column in um, in the square and then we'd be off to a museum. So wow. museum, learning about, you know, Raphael. 
everybody. Oh, well, I can so see in your face that it was something you really enjoyed. Is that a awesome. place you may visit after graduation? Absolutely. I was so blessed to go in fall of 2019. Yes, you really were because yes. um, I think a lot of girls that maybe were putting it off or, you know, you weren't able to go. Yeah, it was, yeah, amazing. That is something I would definitely recommend to all the girls at Trinity. You have to study abroad. You have to save up everything and just live. <laughs> That, that's great. That's great. Now, have you worked during college too? You've made time oh, yeah. you um, about saving? I've worked as a lifeguard for four years and a student worker in the art department. I would just work on Photoshop and InDesign and I run their social medias. Impressive, Callie. In <laughs> impressive. Okay. So you're applying to graduate schools. Have you started doing that yet? No, I think I'm going to um, take a year off because mm -hmm. don't really like the way COVID is interfering with the learning mm -hmm. environment. Um, definitely more of a hands-on gal. So I think I'm gonna take a year off, um, save up, pay off my student loans mm -hmm. and um, yeah, then get, get back into it. Funds are readily available for graduate school. So don't give up on that dream. Yes. You know. So where will you come home to? Spring Lake Heights. So you'll be in the area and you'll be able to come visit here. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Well, it has been a delight to talk to you today. I can't, I can't tell you how much it, how, how, make, how good it makes me feel to see you. And I look back on that class of 2017 and my memory, memories are so, so um, significant, but I have such fond memories of all the things that we went through um, together as, as founders of this school. Um, so please stay in touch. I will. Definitely. And um, we'll have some type of an alum gathering. It will be outside for sure, but we'll have awesome. you all back on campus and, uh, and I'll get to see all of you. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your persistence, right? We had to, <laughs> we had to get carve out this time for today. So Callie, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, Mrs. Scrilla. Oh, you're welcome. You can call me Mary now and God <laughs> bless Callie. <laughs> it's Mary on the run. It's Mary.